Well, good morning, everyone. It's Monday, and uh, we're getting ready to make some changes to this table. First of all, I took some shortcuts, so it's a little wobbly. I didn't put glue in it, so that'll be one of the things that gets done. But my wife has finally come out and said, hey, look, this table's, this top's not wide enough. She doesn't like the uh, the gap. I was, it was my uh, one of one of my brainstorms to make a what I called a floating tabletop, and uh, so I've got another slab out in the garage that I'm going to straight edge, like I did this one. This one used to be one long piece, and uh, I straight edged. It, it, actually, it was straight edged on one side, so I combined the two together to make a tabletop. And I don't know if you can see the seam line that runs through there or not. And then, of course, two-part epoxy on top of it. But I'm going to remove this, use it for another table somewhere else, you know, as far as building another another uh, frame and kind of tuck it up underneath there. But I'm going to take you out in the garage and show you what I'm fixing to do. Stay tuned. Okay, I've got this set up. I'm going to straight edge it. It's going to be 27 inches long, and that's the length of the... Uh, or the width of the framework and then I'm gonna straight edge that end cut it to length here and then I'm gonna continue to straight edge this piece and then I'm gonna bring it around and attach it to this uh, area here making this wider and then I'll clean the edges all of it up or all of it up I'll clean the edges up and uh, build a new top for the uh, existing table frame. And then I'll, I've got plenty of cedar poles out in the backyard that I can uh, build another table. And uh, I might sell it. Who knows? Uh, things around here, I'll build something to sell and it gets reclaimed. Anyway, I want to get to work on this and... Uh, I'll uh, bring you back from time to time. I've got uh, my little tripod out here, so I'll film some of it. Uh, but right now, I'm just just marking it and getting it set up to uh, cut, and uh, kind of take take the project from there. So I'm going to take my time on this. What's done right, and then uh, I'll probably oh, I'll probably go get a a quart or so of that uh, two part epoxy so I can cover this top. It actually provides better protection, but uh, you you can't get in a big hurry when you're when it's when it's setting up. You it really takes a week or so to actually cure to the point where you can put something on the top without leaving indentations in the finish. I learned that from our uh, nightstand. So anyway, uh, guys, stay tuned, and uh, uh, hopefully this will turn out like I've got it got it planned. Okay, I've got this laid out. You can see I got a line drawn. I'm gonna cut that live edge off of it. And then I'm gonna set it aside because I will use this to reattach to the ends, giving it a four corner or a four sided uh, live edge. That's what I'm setting out to do. I hope it turns out that way and I hope I don't uh, destroy that piece because I, like I said, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. All right, I'm gonna get that cut. And like I said, I wish my saw was bigger. It just, just enough of the blade passes through to make the cut, but you've gotta take it real slow because it is dangerous. Anyway, uh, wish me luck. Stay tuned. All right, that didn't take long at all. It's most definitely easier to cut with the grain as opposed to to against the grain with that saw, but it kind of deviated a little bit, but that's one thing I don't like about that Hitachi saw is it's not exactly a square cutting saw, but I'll have to make do with what I've got. Okay, now, this is the, uh, the width of the, the table, it's 27 inches, and uh, 
the length is 24 so when i get done with it it's probably going to be a little bit a little bit longer a little bit wider but that's fine because it's going to sit down on top of the table legs as soon as i get them shored up and kind of go from there so all right so that piece of wood is done i need to come back over here i've got that marked i'll get it cut and then uh, cut the live edge off of it so i can join the two together and that's i'll probably get the cutting done and get it ready to be jointed and then i got a i've got a uh i've got a jig that's made for putting uh dowel dowel joints in that puts them in the exact spots that i need them i'll get that out and uh get my glue ready and all that other fun stuff so i can join the top anyway so i don't ramble on guys stay tuned i'll get the other piece uh, cut up and ready to put together okay now i'm definitely going to have to run it on the jointer because it's not a perfect uh perfectly straight and then, uh, of course, I've saved these live edges so that I can reattach, reattach to these edges like so, and have uh, a four-sided live edge on it. And uh, that'll give her a full-blown tabletop where she's got plenty of room to put her put her cup of coffee on while she's watching TV. Little things mean a lot. Okay, that's what I, th I got my cuts done. That's all I'm doing today. Tomorrow I'll uh, uh, start uh, prepping it. I need to get it jointed. And I'll get that done. And uh, probably try to get it put together. All right. Stay tuned till tomorrow, guys. Well, good morning, folks. It's Tuesday, the 8th. And uh, I got all the jointing work done. I didn't video it, but uh, the next thing on the list is to go ahead and clean the, the live edges up and get all that bark off of it. And then uh, get the uh, these two pieces here uh, pinned and glued. And after that's set up, then I'll uh, put the uh, other, other ends together on it for the... Uh, four uh four-sided live edge anyway i'm gonna put my tools up and uh start getting ready for work i think uh this weekend will be the big push to uh to uh, i want to i'd like to finish it this weekend and i think it's a good possibility anyway uh yeah stay tuned Good morning, it's the 9th. I'm getting ready to get started on uh, stripping the bark off my parts. When I get that done, then I'll be drilling for the uh, dowel pins. All right, let's get started. Stay tuned. Good morning. I've got the holes drilled on this on this side at the top, and I've got my pegs cut. I'm fixing to glue all that stuff about back on this tabletop, and uh, that would have been cool, but I don't have uh, the material to make a one of them fancy river tables or whatever. And I'm going to come over here. I've got this all marked off so I can make those make those holes. And this morning I'm going to glue that top together and then when it dries I'll work on the ends. I'm going to have to do some modification and a lot of trimming and cutting to, to get the extra live edges to fit the ends because they're a little different. One's a little longer than uh, both of either one of those. So that's where we're at. I'm going to get that uh, pegged together and bring you back and let you have another look at it. Y'all stay tuned.
Okay, just gonna wait on the glue to dry. It wasn't easy to get that together because I was off just a little bit on my uh, dowel rods and that, that wasn't fun. So it's got a little bit of a, it's off just a tad there on that seam. I'll have to, to sand it out best I can. And then uh, once that gets set up and dry, I'll go ahead and, and uh, try to put the ends of it on and uh, put it back together. All right, stay tuned. Okay, here we are. I'm cleaning the uh, the bark off of this uh, piece of live edge that I'm going to use to reattach to the, the end of it. I'm going to be cutting it to kind of get it to fit again and uh, kind of blend it in with another deal. I'm getting ready to locate the tool I need to change the sanding wheels out because that one, that one is a little wore out. So, get back on it. Stay tuned. Okay, I've got that attached. And then I gotta do this other side. I think I'm getting ahead of myself though. But uh, it'll turn out. Okay, I got the first corner blended in, adding that live edge to the smooth edge. Now we're just waiting on things to, I got this to wait on, I gotta get it dried so I can kind of cut, remove some of this material. And then I got this other side I still have to do yet. So that's where we're at. So I gotta wait on some dry time and uh, kind of take it from there. You guys stay tuned because we're we're going to make a tabletop. Bet on it. All right, there's the new live edge that I created, and now I've got to uh, take this one and I'll reshape it to uh, fit this other side. And uh, this will be ready to start working and sanding and getting uh, prepped for the uh, the uh, top coat. And then I'll uh, take the top off that other end table and replace it with this bacon. All right, back to work. Okay, I got some sanding out to do so there might be a low spot but that's the way it is sometimes when you're working with this stuff uh, this was supposed to have been kiln dried but i have a feeling the way it's been handling that it hasn't been but anyway i'm gonna cut a big chunk off of this and uh start blending it in and uh we're just that much closer to taking that other one apart so we can put this new top on it as soon as I get it finished. All right, stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, man, this thing's not perfect, but it's rustic. So that's got to count for something. But right now I'm getting after it with the 220 grit. And getting it ready for the uh, polyurethane. I think I'll probably just go ahead and install the top to the old frame that I've got. And then urethane it from there. And just do it that way. Of course, I guess I could urethane it right here. But I think I'll do it that way. Anyhow, I'm going to get back to sanding. And uh, let you guys get back to your... Uh, YouTube viewing.
Okay, I took the top off that one table and I brought this new top out. So it's got it so close. It's, it's almost almost too close to not fitting, as you can see. But being low furniture, we can get by with that. We can get by with that. All right. I'm going to think about how I want to attach that tabletop without doing any further damage to it and kind of go from there so I'll keep you posted just kind of stay with me uh, as we get this build rolling Okay, the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, take this top and cut these edges flush with this so that it'll sit flat on the new top. And I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out. I hope it turns out okay. If not, <laughs> we got a problem. I'll be building a new frame. Okay my electric chainsaw so wish me luck okay next step I'm gonna to have to cut my top uh, the tops of these legs flush with this uh, table mount I'm gonna do that all the way around and then uh, I'll have to tweak it a little bit but uh, yeah that's where we're at and I'm going to use uh, probably an electric chainsaw to do it <laughs> shoot uh, I had to fix my uh, saw horse. I broke one in half. Don't ask me how. All I was doing was sanding. But... Okay, guys, wish me luck. Okay, y'all, I got uh, I got the cuttings needed done. The... I'm tired. <laughs> I got the top of the legs cut, and it is snug. It's tightened up. It's it's got a little bit of play to it, but not like it was. And that's just my fault. Originally, when I built this table, I didn't glue the joints. I took a shortcut. I was learning. I don't do those things anymore. So I got to turn it over and uh, kind of do some sanding a little bit and get ready to clear coat it. But I think we're getting ready to eat. So I'm going to get this set up so I can get all my stuff inside get the door down and get the dust settled so I can start uh, clear coating. So you guys, uh, this is uh, almost done anyway, but stay with me and we'll, we'll get her fixed. Okay, this is gonna do it for tonight. I've got the first coat on and I'll have to go uh, get some more brushes. I used the last brush that I had to put that first coat on, but uh, Obviously, you can see where it's soaked it in, and it always does that generally on the first coat. So I'll sand it, put another coat on it, and if it soaks it in, I'll sand it again. We'll keep at it until we get that get it nice and shiny. But that's where we're at, and uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow. So you guys stick with me, and uh, we should have it, should have it finished tomorrow. Okay, I got uh, I got the final coat on there. And we just gotta wait for it to dry, and then I'll be able to uh, return this back to the living room, where the lovely bride will be happy again. Okay, that'll be the next video update. Is after we get it returned into the living room and get the uh, get the stuff back on top of it. So stay tuned, and uh, you'll see the final product. Okay, everyone, there it is. The new top is on it. Got my uh, Trout Creole lamp back on. Kind of adjusted around and stuff, but yeah, I like it. 
she's still at work, so she hasn't seen it yet. But I'm get my fat fingers out of the way. I'm glad we got it done. Just got to dust it off a little bit, and, and she can put all of her goodies back on it. But that that's going to conclude this rebuild of this table. This is the tabletop I pulled off of it. And uh, I think I'll build a, a frame to go and make just a smaller table to go somewhere. Uh, probably sell it. But uh, I'll let you see that when we, when we get it done. That'll be another little build. But it's kind of it felt good to get back into woodworking. There's that little pelt that we use underneath the uh, lamp so it doesn't scratch the tabletop. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty sure she will be too. You can see where I uh, blended in the uh, the uh, live edges. It's four-sided live edge. And uh, you can see the seam right there. This is what I added to this end and did the same thing on the other side. Turned out good. I like it. And uh, there you go. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more stuff like this as soon as I get that garage functioning and I do have a project that I, I'm fixing to start. Uh, I just brought home a four foot by eight foot uh, Harbor Freight trailer that I'm gonna build a portable deer blind with. I lost, basically lost $400 buying those pop-up deer blinds and the wind just destroys them. So we're not doing that no more. And it'll be set up, it'll be insulated, I'll have a heater in it. Uh, it's gonna be cool. Anyway, you guys uh, have a great week. And uh, I will catch you on the next video.